What's up, everybody? We're out here fishing up in the Poconos, Pennsylvania. I uh, just brushed into a tree. It's dumb early right now. Uh, we've been out here already for about half an hour throwing top water. I haven't gotten any bites. But we're about to switch to some subsurface lures and try to catch some good fish for you today. Stay tuned. Got one. Literally. Just horse this guy in. <laughs> um, oh, he's so small. There was more, absolutely more salad than fish here. So our first fish of the day. Our plan is to fish many different places today. Many different ponds, trying to search for some good fishing, but first fish of the day right there. Spooked at or do you bite it? Spooked it, of course. Should eat anyways, though. I got him. Alright, better than the last one, at least. John! Better one! Alright, that's probably one I spook. Bias. All right, pond number seven, it's at this like ski resort. Phil caught a couple of bass, but once again, we uh, got kicked out, so we're going to the next spot. All right, pulling up to spot number nine, this uh, farm pond right here. It's, there's usually a couple pretty good bass you can catch out of here, so hopefully we do, stay tuned. First cast fish. This one is fighting dumb well, holy shit. Is it big? It's actually such a good fight. Oh my god, this is not a bad fish. Dude, he's actually fighting so much. Yo! Pretty big fish, dude. It's like the same size. Bro, this drone is big. This is a, this is like a two, two and a half. I mean, for this little pond, it's big. That was literally first cast. Dude, that was first cast. Yeah. All right, spot number 10 today is this lake. It's got a lot of dinks in it, but we decided to hit it anyway. And so, stay tuned and see if we catch some dinks. Oh, dude, Lunker. Lunker. Oh, yeah, double up again. We did double gang. Phil S. Reed's catching nothing. <laughs> This lake is a low quality lake. Oh, right through the eye. Oh, and, that's strong. And goose cut one too. Right through the eye. Just throw it back, man.
How you doing? A coli? Yeah, we just found out today. Really? Yeah, so we have to get somebody out here to rectify the situation. But that's why I said if you try to Oh, no, no, we definitely would not. <laughs> Alright, thank you. <laughs> He's crazy like that, though. <laughs> Ew, John! Why you capping, yo? Why you? Why you capping? Oh, in this lake, yeah. Apparently, this fish has E. coli. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, literally, that's why she said it. And now, here's a word from our sponsors. Top water. Top water fish at like four o'clock in the afternoon. That's what I'm talking about. Decent chunk too, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty big. Might be the biggest one of the day. See you, baby. Careful, that's six pound line. You're just not gonna be careful. Hey. Not a bad bass, kind of chunky. Toss it back, good catch. Kicked out of every fishing spot. What's up, everybody? Out on this beautiful pond up in the Poconos, Phil and I are going to do a 1v1 challenge for biggest bass. Uh, we're going to think of a punishment for the loser at some point. But yeah, we're about to, about to slam today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. But I have no idea, obviously. Stay on, baby. Oh, man. I mean, this is fun on the kayak. Catching bass, but like, I'm trying to win a challenge here. Oh, no, no, don't do that. See ya. Got one on the frog. Ugh. So small. Get off me bug, get off me bug, get off me bug. Yep. I know they were in there. Oh, I think he's stuck. Can't tell if he's big or not. He's still on. Come on. Can't move.
is. Hopefully still. Not. Oh. In the boat. Yes. Ah, oh, I need a two pounder though. That could be kinda close. Oh, I have a fish. Whoa. How did I just catch one? John, on a... No way, it's a rook bass. It's a rook bass. John, on a spinner bait, dude. A rock bass. Jesus. I don't even know how that's possible.